and welcome back to Luna Domenica. Today I'm going to do a Norwegian look for 17th of May, which is the national day in Norway. And I'm going to do something that's going to look good with a bunad, which is a garment traditional worn in Norway. So, let's get started! I start with a red lip planner, I start with a red lip planner, winging out that eyeliner. So in today's look I'm only going to wear Norwegian makeup brands. So I'm going to start with a bit of sunscreen. I'm going to use Sun by Camilla Phil. And this is SPF 30. I'm going to use a bit less than what I use in the morning. In the morning for the sun protection I use about two fingers to get the optimal coverage. Not coverage but protection from the SPF. I usually apply a few layers throughout the day to keep the sun protection up. Especially now that we are going into summer and spring. Just going to let that sink in a bit. And I've done a new hair color and cut. And I'm wearing already my Bunad earrings. This is done by a technique which is called filigrane. And it's very cool jewelry technique I think. So for foundation I'm going to go into Jan Thomas. And this is the serum foundation. And this is a very good foundation. The dropper on mine is broken as you can see. It doesn't work. So I have to kind of get it out of my hand I hope. It's a very natural looking foundation. I don't know how many shades he has. How can I get this out? You can see. <laughs> Perhaps I just should scoop it out. This is the reason why I don't use this foundation that much because it's just so hard to get it out. But if the dropper is alright I think it, it will be fine. I think this is the palest color. She's going to dot that on. And this serum foundation gives a very natural coverage. And I love a natural coverage. It gives a bit of glow also. And my mother also likes this foundation. She used the same color as me. I'm dusting it on. Focusing on where I get red. And I'm going to buff that in with the It Cosmetics brush. I'm not going to use Norwegian makeup brands brushes because I already have a lot of brushes and makeup pieces get expensive and so is makeup brushes so I just bought some Norwegian makeup not necessary all the brushes and there are also a lot of other Norwegian makeup brands that I discovered when I did my research for this video that I'm wanting to try out but I had to do a couldn't do any, everyone, unfortunately, but I think I might try some of the other Norwegian makeup brands going forward. So you see this is very natural looking on the skin. You can't really see it at all. And that's what I love. But if you have any Norwegian makeup brands or makeup brands in general that you want me to try out or products that you're curious about, just let me know. A bit of redness around here, so just going to cover that a bit more. Around my nose. Starting getting more of a red nose recently. I think it's because it my nose doesn't really like being under face mask. Usually I'm not a fan of too much foundation on the nose because I feel like it's more visible there. So then I've done my foundation. I'm going to move now on to eyes. And I'm going to apply a bit of brow before I do the eyeshadow. Now I'm going back into Jan Thomas. This package is very kind of minimalistic, black and white, same on the box. And this is the 
eyebrow gel in brown. As you can see, here's the spoolie. It's quite a light brown. It's a bit bigger than what I'm used to use on my eyebrows. Not used to this big way spoolie on my eyebrows. Just going to take the tip, kind of fill in the gap a bit. My finger and kind of making a bit more natural. So what do you think? It does make quite a big big difference. Only thing I would change I would make it kind of the spoolie a bit smaller. Because this spoolie is far too big for me and I don't have very big eyebrows naturally. I haven't tried this before, can kind of apply it and see. My first impression is that the spool is a bit too big. And it flakes a bit off. Yeah, not super happy with the brows today. Just go on the outside of the brows, underneath the brow. Kind of go through the brows a bit also. So I do really love the foundation. I've used that one before. Not very fond of the brow gel. I feel like I just need to grab a brow brush and brush them out. So I'm just going to take an eyebrow spoolie and see if we can save these brows. The product kind of builds up a bit and flakes off the mat most funnel. That's better. And I'm actually very fond of eyebrow gels that has a tint in it because it's a very quick and easy way to do your eyebrows. This wasn't the winner for me. So then I'm going to go into my eyes and do the eyeshadow. This is quite a sleek white packaging and it's magnetic and it's as a mirror. White beige color. I'm using my trusty travel kit Hollywood Mini brush kit by Charlotte Tilbury. Which is what I usually use in my eyeshadow. This color is barely visible up into the brow. And I'm not using an eyeshadow primer today because I couldn't find a Norwegian makeup brand that had a eyeshadow primer. I'm sure there is, but I just couldn't find it in my research. Then I'm going into the more kind of peachy pink color. And this I'm applying all over the eye camera is able to pick up this because this is a very gorgeous shade. You can see. It's kind of very natural and beautiful. I think this kind of kits is meant to be kind of more on the natural everyday look which enhances your features according to which kind of hair color, eye color and lip color and skin color you have. So they have different ones for different skin tones and kind of character arcs or what they are calling it. Just love this color. It's going to blend my edges a bit. The same color that I started with. Blending it. And also kind of pinkish colors. Very beautiful blue eyes I think. Now I'm going to go more into the this has a bit of metallic sheen, the greyish brown eyeshadow shade. This I'm going to nestle in onto the outer corner, into the socket line, give a bit of definition.
I love the fact that they have so many kind of everyday kits for different kind of colors. And Nora is the lightest one of the kits. I'm going to go into the kind of brown chocolate color. This one is matte. I'm going to tap my brush a bit so I don't get fallout. And this I'm going to just nestle into my socket line, as you can see. And I'm doing this with my eyes open, looking straight into the mirror. Because I don't think it's, if you kind of close your eyes too much, you don't get it in the right position. You want it to look great when you have your eyes open. Just adding it in here, just right underneath the bone, into the kind of the socket line, part that goes in, in your eyes. And emphasizing this is going to make your eyes look so much bigger. As you can see I've done it on this eye and not on this eye. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Just starting with a brush kind of around my pupil, kind of nestling it back and forth. Just going back and forth. Kind of a bit of small circles also. It's blended. Now I'm going to take a smudger brush and apply it into the first brown shade, the shimmering one. And apply this all over underneath my eye. Into the corner, like so. And then I'm going to take a brown shade the darker, more chocolatey brown matte one and just adding it just into the outer corner underneath on top this is such a great way to get a bit more of a natural definition even though this is a natural look I'm just going to go underneath the eye also because it just frames the eye so in such a beautiful way you always want to mirror the top eye and to the lower eye. Take my blender brush and just blend the thing. Blending a bit up and out. Kind of give myself a bit of an eye lift. Like you would get from a winged eyeliner. I'm going to go back into the right beige colour that I started with. Just going underneath the brows to kind of Keep that area light and to blend. You can never blend too much in my opinion. So that's the eye with just the eyeshadow. You can see that it looks great with this brunette pattern and color. But I'm going to do a bit with an eyeliner. I'm also using Amberly. And this brand was actually featured in one of Lisa Eldridge's makeup it tutorials. I think, the, I think it was one about indie brands. And this is this is the final countdown lip and eye pencil in Cozy. This is long lasting and waterproof. I haven't tried this before. This one I think Lisa Eldridge used. This is a twist up pencil. So I'm just going to take my more of a small mirror here so I can get my closer into it and just follow my lash line. So I just finished up my eyeliner. This has a bit of shimmer in it. It's a very beautiful kind of brown eyeliner. And it says that it's a lip liner also. But I think this color kind of is suited more for the eyes, but you can see has a bit of shimmer in it, but I'm going to try it a bit on the lips because I'm curious of how it looks. Oh, that's brown. Doesn't feel that bad. I mean, like, brown lip liner is kind of good to give depth. A lot of shades, so bad on the lips. So that is a win for me. Now I think I'm going to go on to mascara. So just going to curl my lashes. 
So for mascara, I'm going to use Icon Beauty by Amalia Olsen, which I think is a Norwegian makeup YouTuber. Comes in this box. It's very cool with the leopard print. And then it's very minimalistic on the inside with just white and it says mascara with black and yellow on it. This is the volume mascara in black. I'm quite picky with mascara so you can just see how this goes. Just take a look at the brush. It's kind of this brush that you see. This is the brush. It's kind of this kind of flexible. You can see plastic brush. I'm not very fond of plastic brushes in general when it comes to mascara. I don't think they deliver too much, but let's see. I can be presently surprised. I'm just going to take my fringe out of the way. Apply it into my roots of the lashes. Do you do get into the roots? It's very natural looking mascara, I think. But you can kind of get a bit close into the roots, which I love. See one eye with and one after the out. It's looking quite good on my lashes, but I don't like the feeling of applying it because the plastic bristles are kind of hard, kind of irritates my eye a bit. And the bristles is also very short, as you can see. Trying to make them look even. I feel like it just can be layered. Always a bit scary with a new mascara to try to layer it. And go on to concealer. Today I'm going to use the Amberly Illuminating Concealer. And this has a very cool packaging. I love this kind of white packaging. And you kind of press it in the bottom get the product out, kind of like the Tusha Cut. I tried this once before because I feel like often with concealer you have to press it quite a lot before it comes out so I, so I wanted to try it. So I'm just going to press it a bit, apply it. So I'm just going to apply a bit down my nose, a bit on here, to kind of illuminate a bit on the chin. Just going to use this a bit like a highlighter. Doesn't give that much coverage, but I doesn't have any other concealer from Norwegian brands. So I'm just going to use it a bit onto my where I have a bit redness on my forehead. Just going to just press it in with my foundation brush. And then, again, this looks very natural on the skin. Also going to use this underneath the eyes. You see, already when I've done this side, I know lifts a bit. Just going to apply a bit underneath the eyes, you can see there also. I'm not that fond of illuminating concealers normally because I have a bit of dark circles underneath my eye, which I like to kind of have a bit more coverage over. If you want a bit more coverage from your concealer, perhaps underneath the eyes, you can just let it sit a bit. That way it's going to set a bit and you're going to be left with more, more pigment. And if one of you who's Norwegian or maybe not be Norwegian but still celebrates 17th of May, what do you like to do? Do you do all these kind of eat hot dogs, eating seven hot dogs and seven ice creams or those kind of ice creams, sticks or the kronis? Kronis is actually called kronis because bought for only one krona. 
which and Kuna is the Norwegian money. It's like kind of dollar, but it's what you used to pay for things in Norway. They're yeah, very popular, usually often comes out with the packaging that is, has kind of the same pattern and colors like the brunettes. And we have different brunettes from different regions. The one I have, the blue one behind me, it doesn't look that blue in the camera, but I'm going to put it on afterwards to show you the final result. So now I'm going to go back into the Nora Singularity kit and apply blusher and highlighter and bronzer. I'm just going to start with the bronzer, which I think is more of a contour powder. I'm just going to apply it underneath my cheekbones. This is kind of mini powder and sculpt brush by Charlotte Tilbury. This is just going to give me a bit more facial framework. I'm going to apply a bit underneath the chin. I always like to do this. But you perhaps don't want to apply her too much because we are wearing this white kind of blouse underneath the dress. The brunette comes with the right white blouse and you apply the brunette on top and then you have the jewelry brushes to keep the blouse together and it's a lot of interesting jewelry you have cuffling you have earrings you have this brush different type of brushes called solia where you can have a crown which is usually a brunette crown is usually worn mostly to when you get married and a lot of people actually get married in their bunad. Just going to apply a bit on the side of my nose. I usually doesn't do that on 17th of May. It kind of breaks out the facial framework a bit more. You can apply this a bit underneath the lip. So then I go into the pink blush. Very light pink. Usually I go for more kind of a peachy blush, but this is supposed to look good on my skin tone, so I'll try it. Just applying it kind of over on the outside. This is kind of a fresh, beautiful blusher. Just going to take it and apply a bit on my nose. Then I'm going to go into the highlighter, which is this, doesn't look kind of, it's not kind of golden, but it's very kind of natural. And I'm just going to take the same brush and just apply it onto the high points. Just love highlighter. And this is a very good highlighter. To my nose, I'm going to look a bit small. Taking a smaller brush. Kind of tin tine like this into the highlighter and into the corner. It's kind of a great trick to kind of make your eyes look more awake and more bright. Then I'm going to apply my lip gloss. This is the my signature butter lip gloss by Amberly, and this is the color Japanica. Japanica. It's the same color that Lisa Elders used in her video. Very beautiful light pink peachy color which I feel like look goes so well with this look and it has very natural looks very natural but it has a lot of pigment in it it's more like a kind of lip lacquer than a lip gloss You can see it's almost the finished look. I'm going to apply a bit of powder, Jan Thomas mineral powder in the lightest color, I think. And we'll try it a bit my made my powder prop, and this is in the shade light. So I'm just going to pat out my under eye, apply it. And applying it, it went a bit all over. And applying it with the puff that come with it. 
And I'm also applying a bit of powder underneath my chin and nose. This has a bit of coverage, but I think perhaps this might be a powder, mineral powder foundation. I'm going to pat out to make sure that the thing is creased inside there. Just kind of patting it on and out. For the way I did the concealer, I have to go back in with a bit more. And I'm applying a bit on my nose also, because this has a bit of coverage in it, so I think it's going to... Yeah, that took a bit of down of the redness on my nose. Just apply a bit onto my... Underneath my concealer and contour. And then I'm going to go into... There's a brush I have. Just brush it up. And a bit of the excess. I have to go in with a bit more highlighter on my cheeks after that powder. To finish it off, I'm going to use a finishing spray, makeup fixing spray by Jan Thomas. And most of this I haven't used before. This product. And just spraying it onto the face. I'm not used to using setting spray, but now while the setting spray is still wet, I think I'm going to go back in with the highlighter because I heard that this is a trick. Can I make the highlighter pop a bit more? Go back in with the highlighter while the setting spray is still. Oh wow. This just give giving it more even more shine. Wow. Playing into the corner also. So I would definitely recommend that tip to try apply the highlighter after the setting spray while it's still wet. I'm not sure where I learned it though. So I can't kind of give credit because I can't remember where I learned it, unfortunately. So there you have the finished look. Perhaps I just did put on the mask, you can see. So here's how kind of the finish look with a mask. So I hope you really love this makeup tutorial. I'm going to show you this finished look with my bunad. Have a wonderful 17th of May and thank you for watching. I appreciate the time and as we say in Norway, ha det bra. I start with a red lip liner. I start with a red lip liner. Winging out that eyeliner.